Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. It's been a while since the last one. Um, I was really busy and, and it's, as I said in the in the pinned comment of the showcase, uh, it's taking me like hours to, to prepare and record a video in English. And after like two hours of recording in English, uh, my, my English is giving me up and uh, I'm just losing my mind um, and I'm tired, I'm exhausted. So um, what I'm gonna do is um, short videos, not prepared, because um, I'm not using anymore the vault I started in the series. And anyway, if I open it, there is too much um, personal information I don't want to share. So um, uh, the problem is I can't continue the series on the vault because um, it's too risky. It's not like it's not like risky. Um, a lot, but I don't want to share personal information. So what I'm going to do is um, uh, extract some part of the vault uh, to explain you things you are asking a lot in the comments. Um, I'm using f um, for like a few weeks now a new vault, I bet. Um, so I'm probably going to do videos on this, but for the last vault, you guys uh, loved a lot and thank you again for the support um it's it it means a lot to me um so for the the, the last one i'm gonna do some uh, extracted part of the vault to explain things you are asking a lot um okay so what i'm gonna explain today are the buttons on the home page because a lot of people asked me about them um, I'm gonna show you the way I did it in the first vault because I'm not doing it the same way now, but this is a simple way and 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 this is the way I I did it in the first vault. So what you need first are um, the advanced URI plugin and uh, the templator plugin. The templator plugin is an option because it's just for my example and it's. It's like a, a powerful plugin that I used from the beginning of my Obsidian journey and I still use today. And it can do powerful things um, like the project opening with file creation uh, I showed in the showcase um, are only from Templator. I'm going to show you the code um, in another uh, quick video like this um, of the project template and the file creations. Um, I have um, shared the code if you understand coding i have shared the code of the the template the project template or in the in the obsidian official disk call so if you go to the obsidian official disk call and, and go down to the showcase note you just need to scroll a bit up and and you will have the code um with a uh, that's creating um folders folders and and multiple files for a project um but i'll do a video to explain it for the people who not understand it code um, as much uh, as, as the, um, sorry, <laughs> I'm lost. Um, so you will need advanced URI. I'm, I'm also using multicolon for the display and a new Putin theme just for uh, displaying it, um, in a big size for you, but it's really not needed for, um, the, the button system. Um, I need to do a quick, um, a, a quick one to um, what I'm going to put in the description, I'm going to add um, a link, quick add tutorial uh, from, uh, sorry, give me a second, I need to, I, I don't remember who did um, uh, his, his name, it's from Shaber blog, um, and, and he has done a, a really good tutorial on quick add. That is another um, um, alternative to uh, advanced URI. So it's a bit harder. So um, that's not I'm gonna sh what I'm going to show you in this video. And that's not what I, I used in the last uh, vault. So let's go. Um, here I have an example of my own page. We are going to go to uh, lect, um, source mode. Sorry. Let's go. Uh, I need to remove those because this is the second take I do. Okay, um, you don't have to mind about uh, all of those uh, right arrows you are seeing here. It's just um, arrows for the multicolon snippet, and I don't need it on the buttons. Actually, it's just for the display. Like those lines, the gray lines are for the multicolons callout, so we don't need it either. 
we only need um, the orange lines and not the arrows. So what we have here is basically a local file link and an online file link. File, whoa, sorry, file link. Um, what is important is uh, the, um, the online file link to uh, allow Obsidian to create. I, I'm not sure if it has it in the, in the cache or if it creates a file when you open Obsidian, but I can find the file in the in the Obsidian folders of a vault, and and actually it can display uh, whatever you rename it. Uh, but uh, those this syntax uh, just um, is a, a local file link and and an online file link, and those parentheses are the most important things. This is where we are gonna um, um, link the button to something, some uh, actions. So for uh, starting easy, uh, easily, we have this kind of uh, link that is just a hubs slash, slash journal um, and it's just going to create or uh, open the notes uh, at hubs folder uh, named journal. We are going to try. Um, so it is this note and you can see they created me a new folder called hubs and a new node called journal. If I have it created already, uh, it's just gonna open it. So basically most of the buttons I used in the home page were just redirections to a node or another. Uh, but what is uh, interesting and tricky here is adding some commands inside of those parentheses. Um, so with advanced URI, what we can do is transform a command from the command palette into a new a new rel oh, sorry a new rl like in in the web but it's a new ri so it's integrated in in obsidian it, it it's a, an, a link only um working inside uh, of obsidian so i'm gonna open the palette command with control p and um i'm gonna call advanced uri and here we can see uh, i have a copy uri from a command. Uh, I have also on other things, but to be honest, uh, for those things, I um, never used it in, in the last vault. And there are things I do better with QuickAd in the new in the new vault. So let's copy URI for a command. Don't specify a file. And then we have all the commands uh, open Oh uh, yeah, I, I I don't know what I'm saying. But we have auto command displaying. That's what uh, I was uh, the word I was searching for. Um, the commands are in French, but I'm gonna explain you. So let's say I want to open the daily notes. So not cotidian is daily note. Open the daily notes. I'm gonna click on it, and on the top right you can see advanced your right copied to your clipboard clipboard for this command. So what I'm just simply gonna do is paste this in the parentheses. And now you can see, if I go back to read mode and click on daily notes, it's just gonna create the daily note. Um, it works on every command and it works on plugins command. So what we are gonna do now is basically um, go to homepage and, and, oh no, I'm gonna create before because I don't have it. I'm gonna create a template folder and I'm gonna create a note called uh, template one and I'm going to put some checkbox in it, or things, check. Uh, and some text, uh, tests. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to switch it into the template folder. I'm going to go to templater and add templates, add the templates folder. Sorry. And, and then if I go to um, the command palette with control P and tap advanced URI, Copy your right for command, don't specify file, and then um, open from, no, create from template, sorry. Create new node from template, from templater. Um, the URI is copied. I'm gonna go to uh, the, um, okay, let's go back to source mode, I prefer it. Uh, let's go to projects, I don't know, and paste the, the URI into the, the parentheses. Now, if we go back to read mode and click on project, you can see they are asking me for um, uh, templates to create the note from. 
Um, so what I'm gonna, what I'm doing in the last vault is I have a, a big, as I said previously, I have a big um, project code creation uh, in my template, and and it's just coding it and 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 create multiple files. Um, so as you can see, I'm just creating a new node from the template. Another cool thing um, is um, called um, the graph view, for example. Oh, oh, sorry, never mind. Uh, advanced URI, sorry, I'm a bit tired. Advanced URI, no specify file, and, and graph view. Um, advanced URI, and then uh, let's go to, how did I call this? Big view, and I call this vault, okay. <laughs> okay, oh, wait, come back. Uh, and then uh, we can just click on it and it's going to open the the graphic view. Uh, simple as that. You can create a lot of things with this. Um, it's really simple. It's because it's uh, the, the purpose of um, this video. I didn't want to go into quick ad and, and starting explaining um, more technical things um, because quick ad is really large and, and we can do a lot of things. But for the last vault, this is what I used to do the burdens, if I, it can help some people. For the images, I don't know if I already said it, for the images, uh, it's just images from um, from Illustrator I made and, and uploaded it on Imager. So as you can see, it's Imager links. Um, so just upload it on any um, website that allows it and, and just based the, the online hosted image, yeah. Um, one tricky thing about Imager, by the way, is when you copy the link of an image, you just have this part. Um, so basically it's the image link, uh, you can open it and on, on your browser and, and it's gonna open the, the image. But uh, it's not a JRAC link and you can uh, display it on, on any application. So the .png or the .jpeg, um, I think it's only PNG on an image, but the .png needs to be added uh, at the end of the of the of the URL. URL. Wow, that's tough to say. Um, so yes, I think I've gone through it all. Um, there is two tricky buttons I use in in my um, showcase: is the calendar events that add a new calendar event in my Google Calendar. That's uh, from that just a comment from the, the calendar and Google Calendar plugin. And I'm going to uh, do a video about the calendar plugin because it's a really tricky um, plugin to set up. And I have said uh, since a while that I'm going to do a video just explaining how to set up the, the calendar plugin. Um, and that's so I think I have done, uh, I've gone through three tool. You can also open, if you use make.nd, you can also open um, um, a context uh, like Folder, not folders, folder not, sorry, and things like this. So, thank you again for all the support. Um, it really mean, it really mean to me. Uh, it really no, sorry, what? No, not mean. It really means to me. Sorry. Um, and see you um, in a, in the next video. Bye.